Next, we're going to make a strawberry. So we start with the ellipse tool. Don't need to make a perfect circle unless you want to. And we're going to get the white arrow um, and we're going to deselect. So we're going to get this anchor point and we deselect because if you don't deselect, so you see how all the anchor points are colored in blue. That means that if I try to move one anchor point, the whole thing will move. So we need to deselect because we just want to grab one. So we're going to squish that down a bit and then elongate this and bring in the handles closer. Make sure they stay straight. Don't do any of this sort of deal. Bring them in closer to the um, middle so we get a heart sort of shape like this. Now we're going to make that red with the pen tool. We're going to create a crown. So this is the green part of the top of the strawberry. And remember always to go back to the beginning. Make that like a dark green or whatever green you want. Uh, to zoom up if you need to, control plus, control minus to zoom out. Uh, again, I like this to go underneath, so I'm going to um, just drag it to the back, or you can go arrange and center back down here. Now that's a very simple strawberry, and that works um, okay. Uh, you can make it cartoon by putting eyes on it or features, but we're going to make this a little bit more complex. We're going to put a pip pattern over it. So I'm going to make this pip way bigger than I would usually just so you can see it. I'm going to make it oval or a, yeah, make it an oval, make it black and we want this anchor point tool. Click on the bottom anchor point so it's like a, a pip where it, it kind of gets more narrow at the end. And now we're going to make it small size we actually want it to be on the strawberry and this, the pip on the strawberry is very small so that's a bit wide zooming out yeah i'm pretty happy with that so with my black arrow i'm going to click on it and drag it into my swatches there it is there so across control minus to zoom out going to click on the body and go control C control V and this one I want it not to be another color I want it to be filled so instead of yellow or green or purple or whatever I want it to be my pip but the pips are too close together they're far too close together so with it still selected you want this button down here edit pattern and this is swatches and remember swatches is in window and you go you click on your arrows so you go to the bottom and you go swatches there so we click on it, edit pattern, and we click on pattern tile tool. And again, if it's too small, if you're out here, control plus, then increase the space. So you're happy with the space that you've got. And instead of grid, we want brick by row. That looks good to me. Press done. Control minus to zoom back out, black arrow. And we want to put this perfectly directly above so we've got three layers here and in the end we have a more detailed strawberry if you want to go even more detailed you could make a white sort of shiny part and it looks a little bit like an eye doesn't it so deselect um, and you could move these, oops, control Z, move these around, move your handles around. And get rid of the outline and see what that looks like. Yeah, so it makes it look a little bit more like a shiny, shiny strawberry. And that's how you make 
strawberry. That's 